made in the USA. What does it really cost? Well, if the U.S. federal government applied its own truth in labeling laws to the price of goods and services produced in this country, we'd quickly see. 30% of the retail price goes to federal taxes. Another 10% is what it cost American businesses to comply with federal regulations. Take a $30,000 car. Subtract the federal taxes and regulatory costs, and that same car would cost you $18,000. A $75 sweater. Eliminate the federal taxes and regulatory costs, and the sweater would cost $45. A $60 bag of groceries, $36. A $79 pair of shoes, $47.40. A dollar value meal double cheeseburger, 60 cents. Seem more affordable? Now take a $400,000 new home. Eliminate the federal government share, and that same home would cost you $240,000. Eliminate federal taxes, and you'd have more money in your pocket. Eliminate federal taxes, and you'd have more money to take a vacation. Eliminate federal taxes, and you'd have more money to pay off loans. Eliminate federal taxes, and you'd have more money to save for retirement. Eliminate federal taxes, and you'd have more money to buy that lake home. And that's on the things you buy. Now let's look at what they take from your paycheck. Eliminate the federal income taxes, Social Security, and Medicare deductions, and a $52,000 wage earner's net pay would jump from $1,500 to $1,986.50. Add it up. Nearly 25% of what you earn goes directly to the federal government, and 40% of what you spend goes directly to the federal government. That's 65% in hidden costs. Ready to take your money back? Reduce the tax burden on America, and all of a sudden, there's more money circulating in the economy. Take your money back, and all of a sudden, our products and services are more competitively priced at home and abroad. Take your money back, and all of a sudden, it's profitable again to manufacture products in the United States. Take your money back, and all of a sudden, American companies are hiring highly skilled, highly paid workers to meet their manufacturing demand. Take your money back, and all of a sudden, America would be the stable economic leader of the free world again seem far-fetched? It's not. Could the government operate without federal income taxes? Yes. Prior to 1913, there was no federal income tax. Don't we need the federal agencies that federal taxes support? No. Agencies supported by federal taxes, such as the FDA, ATF, and the IRS, are regulatory agencies. Not only are these federal agencies unconstitutional, they are illegal. The free market would regulate itself better, with greater efficiency. Americans would be richer and freer. Wouldn't charitable organizations suffer? No. Currently, 75% of American families give to charity. With more money in their pockets, Americans would be even more generous with their donations. So, what would we give up? nothing. Since federal income taxes support only 42 percent of the total federal budget, the government would still operate effectively with the remaining 58 percent of the budget. And federal workers would be absorbed into the burgeoning economy by the private sector. Regardless of which political party is in control, there's no incentive for politicians to reduce spending. The only way to end this spending spree 
is to take away the government's checkbook and credit card and let them know the joyride is over. Take your money back. Take back your jobs. Take back your standard of living. Take back your freedoms. Want to learn more? Go to TakeYourMoneyBack.com and download and sign the abolishment form. Let's send a message to Washington. No more new programs. No more new agencies. No more new spending. Tell them you want your money back. If they don't abolish the federal income tax, you'll abolish their career. Never vote for any politician who increases the power, scope, or size of government. It's going to take a committed effort, but it can be done. Download the abolishment form now. It's your money. Take it back.